I did not get to put out a video. I was trying to put out a video today on my opinion here on the Wizards statement. I was trying to put that out today. I didn't, in preparation for this, I didn't get to. I was actually live online this morning teaching how to play Pathfinder. <laughs> When Wizards <laughs> dropped, we were we were on a Pathfinder live stream when we had to break for breaking news. Um, but um, oh, let me uh, be able to share my screen here. So I did just tweet it out though, uh, because I after I got time to think about what the Wizards release was, and I think that a lot of people here will have the same kind of opinion. But my opinion was as follows. So I, I put this out. I said that the statement from Wizards of the Coast is unacceptable. They must acknowledge they have no ability to revoke or deauthorize the OGL. 1.0 anyway. In solidarity yeah, with open D, uh, I posted dramatic. I did post a dramatic reading of Paizo's statement because I think Paizo got it right there. Like Paizo's statement, which we'll look at regarding the status of the OGL, I think was right. So that's where I'm standing. Is that where you guys are basically standing as well? Yeah, that's what I want. I want them to make a public statement that they don't have the right to deauthorize or revoke that license. Yeah, and I guess for me, I, I kind of want to see it in writing because they said a lot of things so far. And unfortunately, you know, under Four Corners Law, if there's any question about what the uh, legal right is, it's got to be written down on that piece of paper. So as a creator, I feel like I need to actually see something on paper in order for me to feel totally comfortable on going back to the way things were. Okay. All right. So that's why I did see some things go by on my social media feed that was like, does Wizard the Coast has Wizard the Coast surrendered? And I think that's a no. That's a no. They have not surrendered on this issue. And that's the to me the only critical issue. That's the the critical issue, and that's the essential issue. I, I think the important thing right now is that they are moving. They have significantly changed their stance from the draft open gaming license they showed to third party publishers in the third week of December to the original post they made saying that there were going to be changes. To the post they made today, they have continued to move in the right direction. They are moving. Directionality is important. Yeah, when you're moving in a direction or in the right direction, people do respond to that. But we shouldn't let up. That that should be the goal. I think that's right. What we're doing is working. That's you know, people say, "Oh, it's not going to work." It is working. Uh, yeah, and I feel like, to, from my perspective, even though you know this may end up in the courts, the reality is that this is a more effective way for us to create change because honestly us going versus Hasbro is going to be a, a fight that not only could take years, but could be one that would, most of us don't have the money for, right? I mean, that's a very difficult option to put on the table the way I see it. 